hi. I'm at a loss for words because I'm kind of ashamed. I wanted so badly to give you guys feel good van life videos because I know I've been kind of depressing lately. I hate Goodbye, that. Van. Thank you. This camper van, if you guys want to rent this one or they have two other ones, you can go to the links below. Um, it's in New Zealand and it's right by the airport so it's really convenient. For now, I'm not going to release the van life videos. During this time, I was handling other stuff and out of respect for the situation, I'm holding off posting these videos because it was during such a sensitive time. Nobody cares! What I can say is that I'm so incredibly grateful for my friend Jo. I'm just happy to be able to be with her because she showed so much love and patience during this time. I don't want you to think I didn't love New Zealand. I did. But for now, I'm going to keep the experience for myself. I have a hard time separating my personal life from social media. And for now, I have to just get home. It's healing time. This may not make sense, and I don't know how to explain it. And, but in order for my videos to be happier, I have to be better. So if I make you too sad, I'll give you a free pass to wait to watch me until I'm able to make happier content. But I don't want to disappear. So if it's okay, I hope to continue my story with you guys. Um, if, if anyone asks, I'm gonna say I felt. What well, we're gonna say I felt sick and you I had to throw up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you that? Um, I'm in New York now. Denise peeing right in the middle of the highway. That's per usual. <laughs> I'm extremely exhausted. Um, I've been traveling for the past two days. I don't really have much to say. I can't. Um, but I'm here in New York now. And uh, yeah, there's no explanation for this. It's just this is the, the plane. She's come ready. <laughs> We're at an authentic Greek place here in uh, Queens or something. Astoria. Astoria. Uh, we are going to have some Greek food. I, it's really like I'm really frazzled in my brain of where I'm even at right now, but like I'm in America. But then I know, okay. <laughs> you just feel like I've traveled. Hi guys, it's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a half a year. I can't believe it's a half a year. Those are some interesting potatoes. Yeah, they're like large lemony potato wedges. I'm also extremely behind on my uploading schedule, so I'm hoping to be able to catch up and kind of maybe encourage you guys about mental health stuff, because it's honestly not something I think about a lot, because I'm like, oh, I'm fine. But you're only fine until you're not fine. You know, you're not invincible. <laughs> Things happen, and then you kind of have to deal with them. It's fucking quiet here. Seems I can't even begin the spoken word without choking out my words, but what have you done to me? Let's start over. But you know my sadness always comes out as anger, so I say things to make myself feel better. But how much can a person take without, you know, telling the whole internet? It's not normal. I mean, I guess you're right. I never said I was justified, even though I am. I should probably stop. This isn't a sob story. I... I hate to disappoint you guys. I hate people to feel sorry for me. And I, I don't want to be this. But I guess we'll label this chapter. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so I gotta figure out how to be better and then know the fuck what I'm doing. Until next time, it's the extraterrestrial.